top-ranking officials from the U.S., Japan, Australia and India discussed the importance of maintaining peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait Thursday. It marks the first time that the issue of Taiwan is brought up during a quadrilateral security dialogue meeting since Joe Biden became president. Meanwhile, in an interview with Japanese media, Japan's defense minister called on Australia to lead resistance against China's growing influence in the region. Seven PLA aircraft, including J-16 fighter jets and Y-8 transport planes, entered Taiwan's southwestern ADIZ on Thursday. Taiwan responded by scrambling jets to turn them away. It was the first time in two months that the PLA dispatched fighter jets in a Taiwan incursion. Beijing has repeatedly stated that it does not rule out taking Taiwan by force. During a recent interview, Japanese Prime Minister Suga Yoshihide said that if conflict erupts between China and the U.S. over Taiwan, Japan's main concern would be to protect the nearby Okinawa Islands. He added that safeguarding security and stability in the Taiwan Strait was not only of great concern to Japan, but to the entire international community. Meanwhile, Japanese Minister of Defense Kishinobu called on Australia to lead a regional pushback against Chinese hegemony and to step in to counter the the influence of China's Belt and Road Initiative. China is attempting to extend its influence to the second island chain. For example, in 2019, Kiribati and the Solomon Islands cut ties with the ROC. In terms of its own regional strategy, this is a key issue for Australia. China is now following this geostrategic thinking. So I think that's why Japan is reminding Australia to be resolute, to block China from having this kind of diplomatic breakthrough. Besides Japan, other democracies are paying close attention to the Taiwan Strait. The Quad, which comprises the U.S., Japan, Australia and India, is focused on strengthening regional cooperation and recently discussed the importance of peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait. It was the first time that the issue of Taiwan was discussed by the alliance since the start of the Biden administration. On this current firm and substantial foundation, Taiwan will continue to work closely with the U.S., Japan, India, Australia and other like-minded nations to safeguard our democratic institutions and shared values. We will work together to protect peace, stability and prosperity in the Indo-Pacific region. Anti-China sentiment is growing stronger by the day. Meanwhile, Taiwan is working on strengthening its alliances with other democracies and its defenses against Chinese intimidation.